Yeah. Well, how are you, Sylvester? Nice, nice. Very uh, good. Really Thank nice you. you. Thank you for asking. It's, it's good because it's nice to finally have something to promote that I love. So that's all good. Okay, and how was this comeback to Tulsa King? I I think that you're you're very happy because the what we saw it's great. Uh, you know, that, I didn't know you guys would like it, so I'm very happy. You know, you never know until it comes up. So thank you. Well, something that is not good for you is that I think that I like everything you do. So I'm not objective. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's, I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm fun, Sylvester. I'm sorry about that. So whatever you do, I like. But this is really, really good. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Well, you never know because uh, this was a kind of an experiment. I had never done television before. And obviously, I wanted to play someone my age because I think that's what's funny is you have a gangster that nobody wants who's 76 years old and they throw him into a country where he has no idea where he is, horses and cows and cowboys and Indians. And you have to see a man start over with basically no friends. He, he's making friends with nerds and this and people that are 50 years younger than him. So kind of interesting. Yeah, I, I think that that's fun. But uh, maybe that do you think that it has something to do with your life? Yeah, it does, actually, because, you know, you're constantly trying to reinvent yourself. But I've always wanted to play this kind of character my whole life, and I never did. So I got the opportunity. I said, I might as well do it now. I'm not getting any younger. This is the last chance. So I'm not agree with that. With, with that is the, the last chance. But I guess something was difficult for you is you're so popular since you are like, I don't know, 2013, uh, since you you done Rocky, that maybe that's a, a very good thing. I think you are the most popular character in the world for, for me. But also wow. you say, I'm talking to Rocky that is playing, <laughs> it's playing <laughs> something that he's, and you and Tulsa King, but it's Rocky, you know, we, we can't stop seeing Rocky. That's good and bad, I think. No, 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 <laughs> but that, that's good. I'll tell you why, because... The one thing that Rocky, Rambo, and every character I try to play that is successful has heart. There's something in yeah. there. He's not just, even Rambo, he's not just a killer. He has some simpatico. And I thought if I could bring that to the gangster, it's a whole different interpretation than anyone's done before. He has, he has a sense of humor. He's not always bad. I didn't want to play that. I, I just thought that's too dark. And I want to show that there's hope and there's humor in that world. I, that, that's good. And we saw that, uh, what we've seen. And I want to ask you this, because I think that if I do my, my own movie, I will be the main character. But you, Sylvester, also it's like a main credit in my life because I saw all your movies, like all my generation saw so Rocky one, two, three, four, five, Rocky Balboa, <laughs> Rambo, and whatever. So you're part, part of my life. What do you feel about that? You know, that this is constantly a source of pride for me because you don't realize that these films are shown over and over and they live on it and different generations see them. So when I see a man who's obviously much younger than myself relating to me, and being influenced by the films I do, it's incredibly flattering. It really is. I, I just, because I don't think about it. It isn't like, oh, I'm making this film so people will like me. Never. You know, so uh, this is a wonderful surprise. And, and you know, it, it's true. We in Argentina, we love you. We love you since, I don't know if you remember your own movie, Victory with Ardiles. From Argentina, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Pelé. <laughs> Since that, we admire you, man. Do you wow, know that's 1980. Wow, I remember <laughs> those guys. I remember Ardiles. Was he Argentinian? Yeah, we are from Argentina, and Ardiles from from, from Argentina, and Pelé from Brazil. Oh my God, I forgot. I didn't know Ardiles was from Argentina. Because Perfect. he used to live in in England, 
to blame England, right. but he's right. he's from Argentina, and uh, we always re uh, remember that. And well, Harry, do you want to to ask him something? You can do it, and then I come back. See, sí. see. Sí. Yes, uh, I, I'm also a fan. Hi, uh, it's, a, it's a great pleasure to talk to you. Um, wh what I want to, to, to ask you is, uh, you've always seemed to me like a, a person that believes a lot in himself since your, your beginning when nobody wanted you to start in, in Rocky and you just kept, kept on fighting and fighting and fighting until you did it your own way. Uh, it seems to me that you built your career your own way. Uh, and that's something uh, like a, a very Sinatra thing Uh, that's uh, that, that's something that I admire a lot. Uh, how do you see it now uh, in your 76, uh, when you look back and you see what you built on your own with your own hands? I know it's... I, I They want me to write a book because I have I, I don't think about what happened. And then when I start to think about it, I went, oh my God, how was that possible? And what I think it was, I knew that if I did keep pushing and pushing, I would regret it my whole life. I, I knew it. Like, for example, when they wanted someone else to play Rocky and they offered a lot of money and I would have been pretty wealthy, but I knew I would have never been able to live with myself if that film was successful and I didn't do it. I knew it. I told my wife, I said, I will be a monster. I will be a very broken, angry man. So that always, I always thought about what would happen in the future if I do the wrong thing, if I sell out. And it's it's been lucky for me. You know, I just, I just, because I know I, I said, I can't live with myself if I do this. I know it. I just know it. I'll hate myself. So that's how I've always based my decisions. It's never been about, actually, it's been about money one or two times, and it's always been a disaster. Always. Really? Wow. Wow. Yeah, always, because I didn't do it because I felt it. I said, ah, it's good money. You know, the agent goes, oh, great money. And it's always been terrible. Always. Wow. Well, Sylvester, we, we, we want you, if you can say to, to us, uh, hi to Perros de la Calle, that is our show. Perros de la Calle, if it's possible, from Argentina. Perros de la Calle? Yeah. Perros, perros like dogs, it's Perros de la Calle, from the street. Oh, perros de la Calle. Yeah, perros de la Calle. Yeah. 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 <laughs> perros de la Calle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so yeah. No. <laughs> that's great, that's great. And for ending, I, I just want to tell you that I told the, our producers, They, they ask me, which impossible interview do you want to do? And I say, Stallone, like, <laughs> you will never get it. And I'm talking to you, so thank you very much, Sylvester. Well, uh, Perros brothers, you did a great job. <laughs> yeah, they do. I just have to finish like this to see your face. Hi, Andy. Andy. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Gracias, Silvester. Gracias. Thank Chao. You, thank you.